and one soul slide the iPhone spot. Today I'm going to show you how to save your ECID uh, blob, your SHSH blob files um, for your iPad, iPhone 3GS, or your iPod Touch third generation. Now what you need to do is, uh, for right now, turn your iPhone, iPad, or iPhone off, or iPod off by sliding to power off. And after you do so, um, disconnect it from the USB that's connected to your computer. Now, since your phone, now I assume your phone is already turned off or your iDevice is already turned off. So, what you need to do is uh, hold the home button on your phone or iPad, and then connect the USB cable while your computer while connected to your computer. And it should pop up your your iPhone should go into recovery mode, and you'll see the i connect to iTunes screen on your iDevice. That's fine. Don't worry about it. If you ever want to go back without restoring, just hold the home and power button at the same time, and it'll restart the iPhone or the iDevice, whatever you have, and you'll be back to your normal home screen. Don't worry about it. You don't have to restore. So what we want to do now is go to the farmerumbrella.blogspot.com. This is a program made by Notcom, a real cool dude. Um, he made this so you can save your SHSH files locally and you can send your ECID so that SART can save it on his server too. And you can read about why you need the, these hash files and everything and you can get all the info. But what you do is scroll down download this zip folder. After downloading it, you can unzip it anywhere you want. I unzipped it to my desktop and you'll get all this right here. For you uh, Mac users, this is mainly for Mac users. Um, you're gonna have this right here. Um, I just kind of copied it over there. You don't really have to do anything. Um, you gotta unzip umbrella.dmg and then drag this over to wherever you want to extract it to. That's the app that you're gonna use for Windows users. I'm sorry, you're out of luck. I'm not a I'm not on a, I'm not a Windows user, but I'm sure it's the same thing. You know, same process. After extracting that from the DMG, open up Umbrella, and it's gonna ask you from for your ECID. Uh, which is your iPad's special number that requests the Apple servers to give it the SH, SH file. What you really need to do is just now, if you're on a Mac, search for your system profiler, and then you'll see all this. Go down to USB, and then tap on Apple Mobile Device, which is in recovery mode. Here you'll see all the info you have right here. Just you'll see the ECID right here copy all, everything other than the last four things and the space so you're gonna copy I think it's 13 to 14 digits I'm not or characters I'm not sure command C exit that insert your ECID paste it in there and select the device you're, you, you're getting your ECID for your I mean your hash files for so I got an iPad and I wanna get mine from Apple so you submit it and on my desktop, you're going to see that it should pop up around here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there it is. See? There it is. Now I can success now I can just downgrade if I ever wanted to to a firmware 3.2 without having to use Apple server to sign the firmware. I can just sign it myself by using this. It's a bit more complicated, but yeah, at least we have it, so we won't be stuck without a jailbreak. I suggest using Sarix Cydia server also so you can, uh, you know, send it to him too you submit that and it might freeze up for you guys but don't worry about it it's just submitting it to Cydia so you have one saved and it's finished so now it pulled it from Sarek server but now we know that we have a ECI that we have our SHSH files saved over there with him so we're okay now so now that we're done just hold tight to these and uh, hope that you don't accidentally upgrade and if you ever do you have these to ever to downgrade so you can jailbreak your iPad or your iPhone again. I'll see you guys next time.